Well, hey, YouTube. This is, uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry. I'm uh, an idiot. Uh, this is this is John of uh, Plocar Arts. Uh, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about now. Uh, uh, I'm here to present to you my uh, art time lapse, and I figured that I would go over a few little minor details as to why this piece exists and, uh, and uh, a little bit of the process behind it all. Especially since it's like super duper fast, you know. So maybe uh, maybe a little explanation would do it some good. All right, so uh, this exists because I randomly came across a Facebook post saying from Fox Studios and the Simpsons that they wanted a creepy art uh, they wanted creepy fan art of Krusty the Clown for Halloween for one of their Halloween episodes their Treehouse of Horror episodes that was coming up in just a few weeks a very few short weeks and I initially was just getting off of a, a big art project and I had no energy for it at all whatsoever so I was immediately like no nope, no nope, I had a no, thank you. I don't think so, sir. We we could try again tomorrow. Uh, but uh, after after tinkering tinkering around with a few ideas in my head, I got excited and I went straight for it. Uh, it's just balls deep. I uh, but I only had a few days to do it because I was going on a trip very very soon. Uh, so I literally only had like three days to figure out what I wanted to do and get it done. Most of the ideas I had in my head were way too ambitious, even though I was excited by them. I was like, nope, that'll take me too long. I have to go to Arizona and see my girlfriend. So I need to get this done stat if I want to do it at all. Uh, and then I, uh, it took me a while, but I just I sat there for the longest time and I finally just doodled this really crappy thumbnail that you saw at the beginning. Like, that's all I did in terms of the sketching process this time, was just that little thumbnail, and then I used that as a small reference that I kind of based off of jo Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, mixed with, obviously, Krusty the Clown, and just kind of went from there. And initially, I, uh, I I didn't really have any other ideas. It was just Krusty the Clown just sitting in front of, uh, front of the mirror, t t putting on his makeup, and that's, that's all I had going. Uh, then... Uh, somewhere down the line, I thought, well, instead of, like, painting his face on, what if he's just eating the brush? That's kind of weird and creepy. And that allowed me to add a little bit of blood later on, too, which was nice. Um, the painting process was a lot of fun. It really was. It was a lot of fun doing this again, because it's uh, it's been a while since I've done this specifically, where I, I, I'm not, like, relying on, like, uh, a whole lot of reference uh, or, like, uh... Uh, image sources to make the artwork I just basically painted and that's that's what you saw from the very beginning and I uh, this uh, a paintbrush that I I don't think I ever really played with before this is the first time I ever dabbled with it and uh, turned out pretty solid like it felt like I was painting with like a, an oil uh, with like oils and stuff again which has been a long time since I've done anything like that and uh, uh, I wanted to get a little experimental with uh, with the colors too. Like I didn't want his, you know, his colors to just be yellow, just be white, just be red. I wanted them to have like, you know, or just blue or even purples. Like I wanted them to have these these uh, influences of other colors just mixed in there. Like you know, in his skin you can see some blue and, and some reds in there mixed in with like the yellows and the, the the whites from the paint and all that and even his glove it's not just it's not just a white glove it's all it's almost like it's a rainbow glove honestly there's like purples in there and blues and greens and yellows and oranges and pinks and all all this all this fun jazzy stuff going on there it's you know his shirt isn't just sheer purple it's it, it's it's mostly purple, but I, I also wanted to hint at some blues in there as well. You know, his hair, like, yeah, it's mostly like that 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 weird bluish green color, but it's just, 
it, it almost looks like cotton candy, which will have fun. And then uh, I think like the most pure color we have going is uh, his blue tie. That I think that's just straight up blue, and his his nose, his red nose is just red. And that, that that that's basically it. But I wanted to I wanted to play with colors a lot this time around and just uh, go with it. Uh, and then I noticed like uh, his curtains, you know, they had the uh, the polka dots on it, so I wanted to mimic that but make it look a little a little weirder as those like you know uh drapey curtains and stuff which is a lot of fun uh and uh, anyways i think i got off topic a little bit oh yeah i kind of did didn't i uh so i yeah i came across this and then like i had mere days to like get it done i was on a huge time crunch that i had to get it done and luckily i did like a day early that i needed to get it done and uh uh, let me tell you something. It was like anxiety hell for the last, or for the next few weeks after that, wondering if I was actually going to, you know, win this uh, thing. Uh, which, if you don't know, it was a, uh, it was uh, the contest was to actually see about getting the artwork onto an episode of The Simpsons. Which blew my freaking mind. Uh, the fact that it actually did have a happy ending. It won. It it, it made it. Uh, it aired on on The Simpsons October twenty third on uh, a Treehouse of Horror episode uh, called Not It. Uh, it wasn't like their official Treehouse of Horror episode. It was like Treehouse of Horror presents uh not it which was a parody of stephen king's it obviously with uh crusty the clown taking the place of pennywise the clown which was honestly quite funny i thought it was hilarious i i enjoyed that immensely it was just something else for me uh to to have my artwork presented on an episode of the Simpsons, a show that I grew up watching and loved the hell out of the Trials of Horror episodes as a kid. I had VHS tapes, uh, recorded uh, VHS tapes of, of, of specific Trials of Horror episodes, and I would watch them nonstop, nonstop, constantly, all the time as a kid. And I know I still have those tapes somewhere. It, it will take a lot of, like, searching, but, uh... Yeah, so that was like a pretty crazy experience, and I thought that I would, uh, I'd share some of the, some of the backstory behind, uh, behind my Krusty the Crown, Krusty the Crown, wow, I can't talk, Krusty the Clown piece, uh, over a time lapse, instead of doing the, the typical thing that I've done, which is put some music over it and say it's good enough, you know, like, <laughs> actually, I think I did already do that, but I wanted to provide a a new video, I guess, explaining it. And, oh, also surprise ending. Uh, they uh, the 20th Century Fox, or as I think they're now just called 20th Century Studios, they they actually sent a little something in the mail, uh, and it was it was definitely unexpected. It was uh. Uh, sadly, I wasn't in town, but uh, my mom received it for me, and it was a little a little poster artwork of the uh, the official not it uh, promo art that they that, that they had uh, going around with a message with a little message attached, and it's actually quite hilarious. It's so hilarious that I I can't really say it myself because it's just it's not as funny so uh i i have a little something prepared that i'll just attach to this video and you can hear it for yourself it's actually quite quite cool that they that they did this got a little surprise from pop studios in the mail hey hey from everyone at the simpsons thank you so much for taking the time to create such an awesome creative and creepy piece of art based on our beloved crass clown Krusty. Out of hundreds of submissions, many great. Yours was a clear standout. We actually showed your work to Krusty himself. He loved it so much he decided to sue you for stealing his copyrighted image. 
blue-haired lawyer says he'll see you in court with love and litigation, The Simpsons. And uh, it w it was just a it was a great experience all all together. Uh, well, uh, minus the the megatons of pressure and anxiety that I experienced for uh, practically an entire month because <laughs> even after like I miraculously was approved and won the, the contest to be featured with a handful of other uh, artists which by the way go check out the 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 episode on Hulu uh, it's called not it uh, there there's some other pieces uh, from other artists on there that is terrific and blows my out the fucking water honestly they're so damn good um but anyways it was uh besides the besides the anxiety and stress it was cool it was it was very cool i got i got a lot of love online uh, uh sadly not from you know recognition from the the episode itself i had to go out i had to put myself out there a little bit to say like hey I did this thing. You guys like it, and a lot of people actually were received it very well, and like uh, really showed a lot of love and support. And that was something I'm not I'm not very used to. And it was uh it was great. It was really great, and I uh, it definitely uh, it definitely inspires me to want to keep doing art again, which was getting tougher and tougher if I'm if I'm being totally honest. But here we are. Me making art still. Me making creepy, creepy clowns for the whole world to enjoy. Uh, thank you. Thank you for listening. And uh, have yourselves a, a nice uh, nice evening, nice day. Uh, if, you, if you do like my artwork, please, by all means, uh, why don't you, you hit that little like like and subscribe button you know you know what i'm saying you ring a ling ding that bell that notification bell if you don't mind <laughs> uh, i would greatly appreciate it because uh you know any any uh any love uh out there for art uh, i i i am i am i am here to give it <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying anymore i'm kind of rambling i'm so sorry please uh thank you for watching Goodbye. Till next time.